Everyone has their wrestling heroes. For some, that's Andre the Giant. For some, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. And for some, it's the Falcon family. From humble beginnings with Captain Falcon to the King of Heavyweights, James Falcon, the Falcon legacy has been filled with determination, grit, and success. After winning the Royal Rumble and moving on to WrestleMania to win the WWE Championship one last time, James Falcon made the decision that it was time to hang up the boots. James Falcon had a different plan in mind for the future. Help the next generation succeed the same way that he and his father before him had. James Falcon opened up the Falcon Spirit Wrestling Academy almost immediately after leaving the WWE and had people lining up outside for the chance to be taught the ropes by one of the best families to ever do it. Out of those hundreds and hundreds of students in the opening year, only one made it to graduation and signed with the WWE. His name is James Fatal, and this is his story. Welcome to Bell to Bell. I'm Jimothy Jones here with my partner, Clark Jr. Jr. I hate my life, Jimothy. Thanks, Clark. So the big story today is the new prospect from the Falcon Spirit Wrestling Academy, James Fatal. He's down in the WWE Performance Center right now getting ready for his NXT debut. And it seems that he's quite the impressive athlete. From what we've gathered on this up-and-comer, he's a bit of an outcast and calls his collective the Dark Society. He has one hell of a clothesline, though, and he calls that closure. And standing at 6'6", over 250 pounds, I know I would not want to be caught in front of that. I can't see my forehead, Jimothy. Thanks, Clark. So next up here, we're going to be talking about Chris. After all the training, after all the hard work, after all the blood, sweat, and the tears, James Fatal is now here in NXT, baby. Welcome to the first episode of WWE 2K18 My Career here on the channel. And if you guys are excited, remember to leave that thumbs up. And we are now in the parking lot of NXT. We're sitting around in Orlando. It's feeling good outside. The birds are chirping. The honeys are walking. And we are going to have our debut in NXT. And speaking of, what is going on over here, Peyton? How you doing? What's going on? This industry can be a tough one if you're on your own. If you ever need someone to look up to, look no further than Stephanie McMahon. She has the intelligence and experience to succeed in this business. Well, thanks, Peyton. Uh, are you sure that you're not Stephanie, man? Are you a robot controlled by Stephanie? Because I'm not too sure. Now, what's going on over here? You look very sophisticated. How are you doing? Good luck out there tonight. Cheryl Lagman. Cheryl La Do I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Are you another Stephanie McMahon robot? Now, who is this? Tony Ball! Hey. <laughs> uh, hey. A little word of advice. Remember your place on the totem pole. I'm the vet, you're the rook. Who is this? I thought we got off. You said hey with an exclamation point. I thought we got off on a good foot. I guess not. Okay, Tony Ball. There's my main man, Albert, rocking the Steph Curry's, man. Look at that. He's got it. Look, he's already got the fours. He's looking good. Let's see what's in the authorities room. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Stephanie's not here. There's two robots in the NXT parking lot. Something's a little fishy here. I don't know what's going on. Now, who, who are all these people? That looks like a security guard. And honestly, he's like bigger than me. You should be wrestling. Why don't you trade me shirts? And then you can go out there. What's up, Mr. Suit? Chris Colby. Excited to see you in the ring tonight. Uh, thanks, I guess. I don't really know you either, but your face looks familiar, if that means anything to you. I did see a familiar face, speaking of that. My boy Baron Blade. But Hideo Tommy's chilling over here too. What's going on, my man? You're going to hear a lot of different opinions. I'm going to tell you something that took me a while to learn. Tune it out and just do you. Well, thank you, Hideo. I, you're probably the first person who's actually given me any sort of advice that meant anything, to be honest. And I appreciate that. Now, Baron, 
I must speak with you. That is what we must do. It is what it tells me to do. It is what it's leading me to do. So please, Baron, explain. Was only now given the rundown on you. Yeah. Yeah, my coach, my trainer, James Falcon, he, <laughs> he told me a lot about you, bud. Good things, I imagine. Hmm, remains to be seen. High level of hype moving around you. I'm here to see if that's real or if it goes in the right direction. Don't know what you're good at yet. No one's telling me either, except for all this baseless, glowing praise. I want specifics. Well, I'm really good at kicking people. I'm really good at throwing people across the ring. My finish, closure, huge clothesline, knock you out your shoes. I'm pretty good at stuff. Give me a chance to show you, how about that? There's no need to worry. All you have to do is give me a chance to shine. Yeah, what I'm doing, isn't it? Not words, actions. I couldn't agree with you more. Talk is cheap, as they say. Also a cliche, but whatever. Impress me. Hopefully not asking too much that. Match card is over that away. Take a gander and get back to me with what you want to have. We'll build off that. Okay, big man. We'll get underway here and see what we're working with here. Don't give me that smirk. My man over here told me he's excited to see me, so I mean, I already got one fan. Let's check this, uh, let's check the whiteboard. This is the match card screen. From here, you can strategize over how you want to proceed with tonight's show. You can view matches for the night. You can also schedule run-ins and promos. After you confirm your selections for the night, you will go into tonight's show. All right, so we can have a one-on-one -on -one match with Bobby Roode. We can have a self-promotion promo. Or we can have a one-on-one -on -one match with Hideo Itami. I feel like me and Hideo, I feel like we got something here. I feel like Hideo's kind of been looked over a little bit, and I'm looking to make a statement here, and I feel like we could just, we, we would gel in the ring really well. So you know what, we're going to do the one on match with Hideo Itami. I was thinking about starting off the promo, but I think the best thing, like we just discussed with Baron Blade, is to talk it out, get in the ring, and show him with actions. So let's do it, baby. James Fatal versus Hideo Itami, and that's going to be what I choose. Hideo. Okay, I was going to tie up with you, but I guess my man said, nah, look at the size difference right here. This is a David versus Goliath matchup right here. I mean, I'm 6'6", edging 250 on a good day. Oh! Hideo, okay. See, there was a reason I picked you. I knew you were going to bring the sauce. Oh, but I can bring the sauce too with a little bit of headbutt action. Ain't nothing but a thing, baby. Here we go. Kicks in the punches. That back fist. That headbutt. Stay down, my man. Drop kick sends him to the floor on the outside, and we are on fire. No, 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 Hideo. You're going to go back into the ring. We're not going to play this outside the ring bull crap. We're going to go ahead and end that right there. Here we go. Yo, just tossing him. Look at this beast. Look at this beast. 
Oh no, here we go. Things not looking good for Hideo Itami. The triple butterfly suplex. He's not ready. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. He He's not ready. Out, but things don't seem to Hideo be don't know what he got himself right. into. Looking to rearrange the face. The high here. knee. The straight jab. Look at that STO. Just complete power from this man, James Fatal. Look at Hideo this. Tommy may be running out of gas here. I'd say he's Technique, to feel the pressure power, this match is speed. In a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going Look to at the knees. If he wants to stay in it. You can't be surprised. With a trainer like James Falcon, he's simply you can't be surprised. Oh, here. my. Look at that forearm. Just buckles Hideo Itami. He gets himself in the corner. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the boot to the, to the noggin. This might be it. And this is a shout out to James Falcon. Knee of justice. And now, Hideo, it's time for some closure. Oh, he reversed. Hideo been watching the tapes. He's been watching the tapes. And there's a vicious slam. My man must have got them tapes from the Falcon Spirit Wrestling Academy because I don't know where else he got them from. We're able to counter. stop the comeback, though. Take his knees ball. out. Must have saw me in the Performance Center or something. Scouting me out? Is that what you're doing, Hideo? Just making his presence I don't know how he knew what was coming. For the most part, it looks like he, had, he hadn't figured out what was coming yet. Oh, look at these knees. These vicious knees. Oh, no, no, no. Like I said, we're not playing this on the floor crap out here, buddy. You're going to go back in the ring. Back oh, they are going to send me back into the ring. Oh, oh here yeah. we go. Firing off some forearms. Good Lord. And, he goes down hard. and now yeah, Hideo's fighting he back. A too. He got me on the outside of the ring. Ooh, we're able to reverse, though, so Hideo's not going to oh, be able to start the anything there. I'm getting back in the ring. I'm not messing with this. I'm telling you. That's right, baby. Stay down. You don't want you. I'm not trying to hurt you, but I will. Oh, one. wait a minute. Major reversal. Hideo Itami trying to fire back. I can't reverse. He's pretty close to a signature and a finisher, too. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He needs he's a 98 percentile. We better hurry up and get out of this. Yeah, Hideo hits us with a go to sleep and then he's looking too good. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. But remember, that guys, one go to sleep. Has a long way to go Hideo looks like he's going to that place. Up here. Oh boy, he is he's got that signature. Are we going to be able to reverse it? Oh! Still trying to get back to his My man's here. cutthroat. Okay. In a bad way right now. Good God! I just decapitated him. Just completely. Dr. Teeth. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Listen to that crowd chain at NXT. Into the corner, went for the double knees, but no, Hideo. Oh, he wants that. He wants that delayed drop kick in that corner, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's what he wants. And that's what Hideo is going to get. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not what he wants. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to go for it. I guess not. There's those double knees in the corner. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Just tossing the man. Just tossing him. Not even close. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Oh, he and he's busted wide open. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Man. Here we go. Oh, Boom! Man. Fatality. He's a but he's here. And he now, like I said before, Hideo, it's time for some That's closure. Tommy comes back from that. That's all she wrote. I don't think I don't think Hideo is going to be getting right up from that. And James Fatal is victorious in his first night. His debut on NXT. Look at that. Just decimation, decapitation.
You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. What's this? Oh, and I'm here to make a statement, Hideo. If it's got to be on your name, well, it's got to be on your name. Everyone in NXT will know exactly who I am. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, Hideo? Time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little positive. Oh, you're bleeding, huh? When this guy's on. Oh well. Here we go. Stand up. Boom! Fatality takes him down. Here's his moment, Michael. And just blow your head off. So what'd you think of that, Baron Blade? Actions speak louder than words, right? That's what we talked about. Okay. Okay, yeah, not bad. Kind of impact you won on a first outing. Like what you did out there tonight. We can work with this. Keep running that angle, and you'll be fine, I think. It's good to hear, Baron. Good to hear. Like we discussed, baby. Actions speak louder than words. Who is this guy? Matt Rubio says, you're doing great out there. Love watching you work in the ring. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Real nice of you to say. That's a nice tie you got there, man. Is that reversible? That's good. Killing and Dane hanging out in the parking lot. What's up, Killian? Like your name, man. It's pretty brutal. That was definitely one of the more successful debuts I've seen. Way to take the ball and run with it. Company man, Killian Dane. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. We, you know, we'd be good together, man. Talk, let's talk about that later on. I, I like, I like the vibe I got with you here, Killian. I'm digging it. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the first episode of WWE 2K18. My career making a statement. Sorry, Hideo, it had to be done. Had to prove that actions speak louder than words. So I'm gonna exit the arena take my car, head to the next town. I want to thank you guys for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goodness on my channel. And I will see you guys next time.